Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 22, Session 4, and it's Subtracting Fractions and Line Plots. We're on page 479, so get your book and a pencil, and let's get started. All right. There are many kinds of dragonflies that are different in length. A scientist measures the length of different dragonflies and makes a line plot to show the measurements. What is the difference between the lengths of the longest and the shortest dragonfly? So this is going to be just like that first problem that we saw. So first we're going to find the longest, which is going to be the last number that has an x above it, so 4 and 3 fourths. And then we're going to subtract the smallest, which is also going to be the first number that has x's, which is 3 and 1 fourth. So first I'm going to do the 4 minus 3, which equals 1. And then I'm going to do the 3 fourths minus the 1 fourth, which is 2 fourths. So my answer is 1 and 2 fourths inches. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 480. Okay, right here we see that problem again. Um, here's another example of a way that you can do it. You can draw a bar model with um, the longest total, which is 4 and 3 fourths inches. Then you can draw the shortest, which is 3 and 1 fourth, and then find the difference in length right here. You can also do this using a number line. You would draw it from 3 to 5, start at the three, 4 and 3 fourths, and then um, subtract, you know, 3 and then 1 fourth, and you would still get uh, the difference. So, all right. So on page 481, this is just going over what we already did. So go ahead and X that out. And then go ahead and turn to page 482. All right. On page 482, we're still working with that same problem, but it's going to be a little bit different questions. Use the line plot above. What length are the greatest number of dragonflies? So that means we're going to find the number that has the most x's, which is 4 and 1 half. What length are the least number of dragonflies? So that means the one that there's only one of. So, or you would never do one where there's nothing unless it specifies that. This says the, what length, what length are the least number of dragonflies. So the least number is one, and it's on three and one half. And then it says, what is the difference between the two? Difference is a key word for subtract. So we have the larger number minus the smaller number. Four minus three is one. 1 half minus 1 half is 0, so our answer is 1 inch. The line plot below shows the length of pieces of ribbon. Okay, Terry's piece of ribbon is 1 and 5 eighths inches shorter than the longest piece of ribbon. So here's our longest. And it says it's 1 and 5 inch shorter. So how long is Terry's ribbon? So first we have to figure out this length. And to figure out length, we when we're looking at fractions, we have 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means we're working in eighths. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. But we can't forget the whole number. So our longest piece is 11 and 7 eighths. But it says that Terry's piece is 1 and 5 eighths inch shorter. So we're mi going to minus 1 and 5 eighths. 11 minus 1 is 10. 7 eighths minus 5 eighths is 2 eighths. All right, again, if you feel like you're getting the hang of adding and subtracting fractions on the line plot, go ahead and complete 283 and 284 on your own. Hopefully, by this point, you are getting the hang of it, and you can do this on your own. Okay. Which question below can be answered using the line plot in the example above? Ooh, okay. In three months, let's read this problem first. The monthly rainfall in inches for one city is shown in the line plot. What is the difference in inches of rain between the month with the greatest rain and the month with the least amount of rain? So that's where it showed right here. And it says amount of rain in inches. 
So in three months, it rained the same amount. What is the difference between that amount and the amount in the month when it rained the most? Okay, so this is monthly, so that's one, this is one month, okay, and it says it rained, in three months it rained the same amount, so it rained like this much in three months. What is the difference between that amount and the amount of the rain that it rained the most, okay? So that would be, if it's the same three months in a row, then that means it's going to be the same all, like the whole time. So this answer is going to be correct because it's going to be, we're going to have two and one eighth inches because that's the most. And then we're going to subtract no, I'm sorry. It's three because three is the most, and we're going to subtract um, two and one eighth because that's the how many days, and we're going to get a total of seven eighths. So, yes, we can use this one. On B, it says, How much rain fell in the three months with the greatest amount of rainfall? So, the months with the greatest amount, it would be three inches, and then two and five-eighths plus two and five-eighths. So, yes, we can solve that problem. C, count the number of X's placed above amounts. Um, in how many months did it rain more than two inches? So find two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. So yes, we can answer that one. How much rainfall occurred in January? Well, it doesn't tell us when January is. What is the sum of the amount of rainfall last month and this month? Well, it doesn't tell us for last month and this month. It just has X's for the months, so we can't answer that one. Okay, let's go to page 484. Marine biologists catch fish for research. They measure the sea bass they catch and record the lengths in the line plot below. So here's our lengths. What is the difference in length between the longest and shortest sea bass that biologists catch? Well, here's the longest because there's an X there. Minus the shortest, which is 12 and 3 eighths. 13 minus 12 is 1. 7 eighths minus 3 eighths is four eighths, so it's one and four eighths inches. Sea bass that are shorter than 13 inches must be put back into the ocean. How many more inches does the shortest fish need to grow to be 13 inches? So we're gonna start with 13, and then the shortest fish is 12 and three eighths. But 13 minus 12 and three eighths is hard, so we're actually gonna turn 13 into 12 and make it an 8 eighths. So now we have 12 and 8 eighths minus 12 and 3 eighths because this is a whole number. So 12 minus 12 is 0. 8 eighths minus 3 eighths is 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, last one. Sea bass can grow to be 23 inches long. What is the difference between 23 inches and the length of the longest fish in the data? Okay, so 23, and again, we're probably going to have to change this, so we're going to do 22 and 8 eighths because we're working with eighths. The longest one is 13 and 7 eighths. So um, first we can do um, 22 minus 13. So it's 9. And then 8 eighths minus 7 eighths is 1 eighth. And that is it for this lesson. Um, it would be a great idea for you to go ahead and complete pages 485, 46, 487, and 488. I will put the answer key on Google Classroom um, for you to check those answers after you complete it.